In this demonstration, we'll show you how the new Migration Workbench helps you migrate your databases to cloud with ease. We'll begin on the Oracle Enterprise Manager homepage. I'll go into the Enterprise menu and select the New Migration option for Database. On this page, I can see a listing of all of my previous migrations and the results of those migrations. I'm going to start a new migration by clicking the Create Migration button. As we prepare to start a new migration, we can see we can support all of the Oracle source database types from database 11 all the way up to database 19. I'm going to select a database 12C source and I can see the various destination options that are available for that database. The migration workbench will automatically select the proper methodology given a particular source and destination database. I'm going to select an autonomous data warehouse destination for this migration. When I do that, I will need to select the source database in question. I will pick a pluggable database from my sales database environment, and I need to pick a destination environment up in Oracle Cloud among my autonomous data warehouse targets. I'll pick the sales destination. Automatically, we can see that the migration workbench will have chosen Data Pump as the migration technology to use. Now we'll be able to select some options, including the credentials to use on our source and destination database, as well as the location for this database to be deployed and the file structure directories that will be used in the actual data migration. Our migration job is now ready to be submitted. Before we submit the job, however, we will run some pre-check validations. Oracle has baked our best practices into the migration workbench to ensure that your migrations are risk-free. We will automatically inspect the source database for things like incompatible objects, as well as sizing in your destination environment. We can see that our checks have passed, so we will now go ahead and submit the job. Our job is submitting, and now it has been successfully submitted, and we'll go back to the activities page. We can see that our new migration job has now been submitted and is running. While that job is going on, let's take a look at some of our other previous migrations. One of them has failed. Let's take a look to understand why by clicking the View Analysis button. Our analysis shows that while the pre-check validations passed and the export worked just fine, there were some issues related to importing. If we drill into the issues, we'll be able to see exactly what they were. We can see that there was a user constraint violated because there was already a separate user with the same name defined in the destination database. That is something that we will need to fix. In addition, we can see that there is a key unique constraint violated in the destination database that will need to be fixed before we can do a proper import into our environment. This will make it very easy for us to understand exactly what needs to be done in order to have a successful migration. Let's go back to the migration page and look at another migration. We can see also that we had several runs that completed properly. Let's validate that the performance of the new environment has improved versus the previous environment. We can do this by going to the menu and choosing Compare Performance. The Compare Performance activity opens the SQL Performance Analyzer report. This is part of our real application testing capabilities in Enterprise Manager, and this report will take the exact workload from our source database, run it in the destination database, and show you by SQL statement whether there have been performance improvements, regressions, or whether the performance has stayed the same. We can see from this report that several of our SQL statements have new execution plans, but that by and large, the performance has improved. Let's go back to our migration summary page. In this demonstration, we've showed you how the new migration workbench in Oracle Enterprise Manager can help make your migrations to autonomous database, Oracle database cloud services, and Oracle Exadata cloud services seamless and painless. Thank you for watching this demonstration.